Hey what's up Musers, this is John at muse for You, and in this 10 minute video tutorial I'll be showing you how to create your own music website where you can include your own SoundCloud music as well as have people pay for your music right on your website. So let's begin. So this is the website we'll be creating. Uh, I'll just play this uh, track here from my SoundCloud page. And I'll turn down the music here a bit. Uh, and then as we scroll the website, we have things coming in. We have a, a boom box and a cassette coming in. And we have uh, more SoundCloud uh, tracks on the page as well. And then we end with a boom box there. And as well as having the music, you can purchase the track if I hit click this PayPal button here. Uh, I can purchase this track for the amount that I set. Here's the website in Adobe Muse. So we're going to recreate the website uh, right here in Adobe Muse. So I'm going to go to File, New Site, and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to open the home page. Now the first thing I want to do is add that texture background that I had. So I'm going to go to Browser Fill, go to Add Image, and I'm going to select the Browser Fill, which is right here. And I want to tile, set it to tile, so that's, that's fine. And then I'm going to position it in the center and take scrolling off. The next thing I'm going to do is add the large SoundCloud player, and I'm going to do it through uh, a Muse Themes widget, and you can actually get Muse Themes uh, right in the link below. I have the link in the description area below. Uh, and to get access to that widget, uh, I'm going to go to Windows, or Window, um, Library, and I've already installed the widget by double-clicking it after I've downloaded it from Muse Themes. And we have the large SoundCloud player right here. So I'm just going to click and drag it over here, and just uh, center it in the middle. Now if I click on the blue circle with the arrow, uh, it asks for a track ID number. So to get the track ID number, I'm going to go to my uh, SoundCloud page, uh, page and I'm going to go to my profile click right up here and then click profile and then I'm going to go to the track that I want to place in there so I want to place this one called Skipping Rocks and right here where it has this uh, share button I just uh, click on that button it's the square with the arrow and then I'm going to click on embed and if I scroll to the right I should find an eight digit number Okay, so this eight digit number is what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna keep my mouse held down because if I let go, it highlights the whole track or the whole, um, all this text here or this link. And so I'm just gonna, going to highlight, hold the mouse uh, key down and then hit Command C to copy. And I have, I've copied those eight digits. And then I'm gonna go back to my SoundCloud, click the circle with the blue arrow, uh, click the blue circle with the arrow, excuse me, and then hit Command V to paste. Alright, so now that track is in there. Now the next step is to add a PayPal button. So I'm going to go to Object, Insert Widget, uh, Social, and click PayPal. And I have this yellow PayPal button um, that I can place anywhere. I, I actually don't really like this uh, yellow button, so I'm going to click on the blue, blue circle with the, narrow, with the arrow. And where it says Type, I'm going to select Custom Buy. And then Button Image, I'm going to click Add File. And I've actually selected uh, this other button image that I found on Google, this other PayPal button. And I'm going to select it. And where it says email, I'm going to put my email. The amount, I'm going to say 300. Uh, leave it US dollars. Uh, item name, I'm going to call it Skipping Rocks. That's the name of the track. And the item number, one, tax rate zero, and shipping cost zero because it's a digital download. All right, and then I'm just going to shrink this down. Uh, you can actually shrink it as much as you want. It'll retain the proportion size of the actual image. And I think this image is like 147 by 47. So I can do it just like that. And there we go. All right, and now for design purposes, I'm just going to add a rectangle uh, right below. I'm going to make the rectangle 100% width and 300 pixels in height. Okay, and then I'm going to add a, a border, a black border. I'm going to set it to 5. 
for the fill I'm gonna click on add image and I'm gonna select this other texture that I have and then just tile it all right I'm gonna set the opacity down to 50 all right and that looks good and then I'm gonna set a color overtone I'm actually gonna pick like this color right here from this uh, my background texture so it's just for some design purpose and right in here right inside this rectangle I'm gonna add a small SoundCloud player which again comes from Muse themes uh, so I go to my library uh, and I select the SoundCloud player small and I just drag it in there and I just place it in the center kind of find that there's the center very good and then if I click the blue circle with the arrow it asks for a widget color and a track ID number so I'm gonna select this rectangle I'm gonna go to fill where it has that yellow color that I selected from the background texture I'm just gonna click on the drop down and I'm gonna add this yellow color to my swatch so I can get the hex hex code so I'm gonna click this little paper here where it says add swatch and I'm gonna click OK and then I have the yellow right here in my swatches panel it's been added and I can select the hex uh, hex code so I'm gonna select it and hit command C to copy and then here in my small SoundCloud player I'm gonna click this, the blue circle with the arrow and then hit command V to paste and now my play button will have this this color this yellow color kinda of to match more colors on my website now I wanna add a different track to this small SoundCloud player so I'm gonna go back to my SoundCloud page and I'm gonna select another track I'll select this one here called Luminous go to the share button go to embed go to the right and select these eight digits here this eight uh, digit number and hit command C to copy go back to my small SoundCloud player and paste the track ID number in there alright so there I've added my tracks and I can copy and paste this PayPal button and I'll just put it to the right here there we go now I'm just gonna copy and paste this three times I'm gonna go to window um, sorry view fit page and window so I can see more of it and there we go actually sorry I'm actually going to copy this whole thing like this copy and there we go just try to find that center there we go and I'll paste it one more time All right. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna view fit page and window. And let me just make sure everything is lined up. That looks good. Looks good. And I'll put this one on the left. There we go. And I'll just make sure this is centered. That looks good and good and there we go and perfect um, very good so there's my design and I'm just gonna f uh, change the colors of these other rectangles just to get a little more design in there and I'm gonna select maybe this um, this purple color here and then for the image I'm gonna change it to this so there we go and then this last one here I'm gonna go to fill change the image to this texture just to get a little more design going. All right, so if I preview this in the browser, Command Shift E, um, I can now play play the track, and I can buy the track through PayPal. There we go. Has the price, item number, and lets you pay with credit or debit or your PayPal account. <clears throat> Alright, so now I want to add the interesting effects I had. Um, so I'm going to go to my finder. I'm going to go to those images. So I'm going to select the the cassette. I'm going to place it in there. going to make it a little bit smaller. going to turn it like so. And I'm going to copy it. And turn it like this. So I'm just copying and pasting it and putting it in different different places of my website. And now I'm going to select the boom box. Just going to place it in there, make it a bit smaller, and then turn this as well.
like that, paste it, oh, um, copy the boom box, paste it. So now I want to uh, make these different uh, images come in from left to right. I'll do something like this. So I'm going to add scroll effects to, to these different images. So I select the first cassette right up here. I go to scroll effects, set the motion, and I want it to set the vertical motion to one. I want it, it to come in from the left to the right, so I set that to one. And then the final motion, I want it to keep scrolling, so I set that to one. And uh, this I can leave at zero. So same for the next one. Go to motion, set it to one, one, one. Except this time I want it to come from the right to the left, so I select this button. That looks good. And I'll just do it for the rest of these buttons. Set everything to one, one. And this one from the right to the left. Set it to one. Okay, so that's it. I've set up set up all the motion and I'm gonna add the boom box right at the end. There we go, and that's it. So if I hit Command Shift E, I now have my music website where things come in from different different places on the website, and you can play the track, and you can play this track, and you can p use the pay PayPal buttons to pay for the different audio tracks. So that's it for this video where you can create your own music website with your SoundCloud music as well as have people pay for your music right on your website. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Uh, in the description area, I have links to Muse Themes, uh, Dollar Photo Club, uh, different free resources. Uh, I have links to web hosting and I'll also include some links that I used for this website. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, on Tuesdays, I upload a new video. On Wednesdays, I have a live Q&A where you can ask questions on Adobe Muse and we have a little kind of discussion. On Thursday, I review uh, the Muse websites of the day. And on Friday, I have another live uh, discussion session on Adobe Muse. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.